my darlings and welcome back to my channel I'm that crafty gamer where I combine crafting and gaming all in one channel in today's video we will be just kind of reusing this I bought this from Goodwill and I decided that I would just spruce it up a little bit change it a little bit I was actually going to color it I mean paint it but I decided I liked it the way it was and I also got the glasses from Goodwill because they fit inside the holes so well so um, yeah so both of these things together let's see the glasses and the wrought iron I guess maybe it was part of a fence or something um, all together I think they cost let's see I think the wrought iron thing was like three dollars and then the glasses were like four so I think it was like seven dollars for this and then the florals actually that I'm putting on here right now I actually got those uh, I believe those from Walmart and some of the flowers actually no, I think I got all the flowers that I'm putting all the florals on here I'm pretty sure I just got them from Walmart um, I don't remember the prices on those but I thought I would just use the florals to spruce up the top a little bit give it a little bit of character I mean this thing's got lots of character anyway so that's probably not even the right word but yeah I was originally gonna paint it and then I'm like yeah I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it so then I decided hey let's not paint it because then I can put it wherever I want because originally I was gonna put this in my bathroom our upstairs bathroom like right above our um, soaker tub and I was like, you know what? I don't know where I want to put it. So we're just going to leave it like this. And then it'll fit in no matter where we decide to put it. So even if I put it in the bathroom, we have other uh, we have other shelving in there that would actually match this. So it's not a big deal. But yeah. All right. Trying to figure out the placement of the flowers. Struggles a little real there. I mean, it's kind of hard to do because I'm doing it from the side instead of looking at it like um, from the front or whatever because I have my camera set up on the side and I've moved downstairs to do some of my crafts of course the way I was standing too it was like kind of killing my back trying to do that I'm like it, it's better if I can sit or if the table was up you know at a normal height that would be great and I basically just put the cardboard under that to uh, prevent any glue from getting on the table. And my glue guns, uh, where I'm working, the, uh, the cord isn't very long on the glue gun, so it's making it kind of hard to reach in some spots, but in the end, it's all good. No big deals. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find something you like and will consider subscribing. I do primarily gaming on here, but I am trying to add crafts whenever I can. Right now, it's just been every Tuesday. I was doing it Tuesday and Thursday, but I just, I don't know. I don't think I, I'm going to be able to just, I don't think I clutter up the house with crafts. So um, I am going to put them up when I can. I mean, if I can make things and sell them, that way it's not building up in my house, that might be fine. But I mean, we don't, we don't want to overdo the crafts like in our house because I just, I don't know. We're trying to declutter that way when we move and retire, you know, there's not so much to move. But anyway, so now we're taking this burlap here and we're just making little bows out of it. I'm going to place those on the bottom gonna wrap some of this twine around it just to cover up the uh, floral wire that we use to put the bows together with now you'll see in a few minutes what I do with the beads that I have there and those were actually part of my winter decor projects that I done and I, that I did and I still have had some of them left over so I'm like what can I use these for and then I thought, you know what, they would look actually really cute around these bows. Now I had it set up in different ways. Yeah, I tried different ways I would want to put them on the bows. And I asked my husband, like, which way did you like? Because I did have five beads. I had like three down the center and then two on the sides of the three. And I don't know, I, I kind of even thought it looked a little crowded, so I decided not to do that. And he didn't really have any input advice or any... You know, he didn't really know what to say about it. He's like, eh, whatever you want to do. 
So then I asked my 19 year old, I'm like, hey, what do you think of this? Should I have three three beads down the center or should I do the five? And we both agreed that it looked better with just the three. So, and that's what we're gonna do now here. I just wanted to spruce them up a little bit. I didn't want them just be plain. Of course, I don't know. The bow kind of looks cute just as it is. Whatever. It's so funny when you're making your videos, like I'm looking at it, you know, while I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, this looks so good. It lo I like it like that. But then I'm sitting here looking at, I'm watching the video and commentating and or narrating and I'm like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have put those beads on there, but they actually do look really cute. And I try to incorporate that onto the cups later as well. And the beads had little, um, they still had wire attached to them. So I didn't necessarily like glue all of them, just the center one. Um, I might, if I find that they're falling out, I'll probably go and glue the uh, two on the ends as well if I need to. But at this point, I think no, I think they're fine. And then now I'm just gluing the bows down to the frame here. And I feel like just putting the glue where I did put it was, you know, just fine. I mean, again, if I find out that, you know, they're going to fall off or something, then I will just uh, go to the tips of the bows and I actually glue those down as well. But yeah, this, is, I mean, it's so funny when you buy stuff that you want to reuse or you know recycle or whatever you want to upgrade it to whatever you want like I couldn't figure out for sure what I was going to do with it so I had ideas but you know you don't really know until you actually start working on it and if you've been here a little while you know that a lot of my ideas I actually work my ideas off camera and then once I know what I want to do then I record um, I guess some people just do their recording, you know, whether they know completely what they want to do or not. I don't think I could do that. I don't know. It just might, it might take forever if I did my videos that way. It, it could take a while. So I just, I do my brainstorming off camera and I'm using my new glue gun there. I finally ran out of glue for my little glue gun. I got the new one for Christmas from my family. So... But unfortunately, where I'm working, the outlets are not close, so it's like really hard. So I do have to figure out a different workspace for this kind of stuff. I mean, I do, I have something set up. I have my walk-in closet is basically where my studio is for me to do my recording. And there's just like no natural light in there, so it's kind of annoying having to do it in there all the time. So when I can, I take my stuff down to the living room where we have tons of light. So, but I might have to just bring my stuff up here and do it up here sometimes. Plus, I got this new camera, the Rebel, Canon Rebel T7, and I kind of like using that up here. I mean, using that downstairs. I feel like it does a pretty decent job of recording, so. I mean, I did, I actually ordered a course online through Udemy to learn how to use the camera better. And now they actually have the camera because that was back in, I think, October that I bought that. Actually, maybe even September because I bought it at the same time that I bought my son's pixel art um, program that he's doing for homeschool. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to finish reading through all this course until I actually get my camera because I'm like, I'm not going to remember it anyway. But now that I have the camera, I can actually finish the course. So... So yeah, as y'all can see here, we're just gluing this burlap around the uh, glasses. And yeah, these are glasses, they're not candle holders, but I will be putting like little tea light candles in this. And when I get a lit picture, maybe I can post a picture of that on here for you guys, or I will post it on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. So if it's not here, you might want to join those uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, because I do post stuff there too that you know, may not get posted here on YouTube. So those links are in the description if you would be interested in following me there. It was just convenient when I went to the Goodwill store that these glasses were there because I saw, now I'm getting off track here, but there are three rings on this um, little 
Uh, we're going to use it indoors. I feel like it may have been outside at one point, but yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the third ring. I was like, if we hang it in the bathroom, we could like hang a hand towel on there. Um, but if we don't hang it in the bathroom, I might put some sort of floral arrangement in the bottom ring, you know, in like a, another dish or something, maybe a dish that isn't as deep as the cups are. And what you're going to see is I am going to, in the, in the upcoming clip, I am going to try and, um, make sure that the cups kind of match the, uh, the bows by adding him this didn't work out well I was hoping the beads wouldn't fall out everywhere but obviously they fall out everywhere but it's not a big deal like stay no but anyway at least they didn't go all over the floor but yeah those are super cute I am glad I didn't paint this though and this here is just trying to show you guys what I want to do. I thought matching the beads like three in a row in the center of the cups to match the bows would be a good idea. And then, you know, my other ideas were to wrap, you know, do three there and then put the remaining eight around either the, the actual black ring that's holding the cup in there or around uh, the border of the burlap. Yeah, I wasn't sure, but y'all will see soon what I actually do with that. Okay, so the thing is, if I put the beads around the burlap, it'll actually, I will not be able to take the cups out of there, which to me isn't that big a deal, so we'll probably end up doing that either way. So here we are, we're back, and since the cups were inside here, I thought it might be easier to do this on the floor, so I set it up down here. To finish putting these on here and so yeah as you can see I did decide to go ahead and you know do what I did with the bows and just put three of these on here I don't know I just did not I don't want to like over clutter it I kind of want to keep it kind of simple so I think it looks cute and I did realize later that I didn't get this this one centered, but off camera I do go back because I'm kind of working at an angle. I'm like not right in front of it. So I do go back to this cup later and actually um, fix this and get them centered a little better because yeah, they weren't very centered there. The other one I did fine on. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I will be putting little beads around the, um, the rings of uh, that are holding the cups in there and they're basically they're little beads that are already stuck together I got them at uh, the Dollar Tree so and they pretty well match that so I thought well that's super cute so that worked out but anyway we are about done with this project I hope you guys have enjoyed it I will probably do a little zooming in on it for you here in a couple minutes to let you see how it looks up close and everything. And like I said, once I get it lit up, I will um, be sure to post a picture of that probably on Facebook, Instagram, and maybe on Twitter. Um, I don't know if I could just post a picture of it on YouTube. I think I can. Maybe I'll do that in my like community tab. So if you want to see it lit up later, just go to my community tab and we will edit that and we will have that there if you want to see it lit up. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.